Hello, welcome back. I'm Joe, and I'd like to continue my explanation of how to get the hang of the basics of good drumstick technique. Uh, in my previous video, I explained how to hold the stick, and I recommend you watch that first, and then uh, watch this afterwards if you haven't seen it already. And today I'm going to explain how to get the sticks and start playing uh, just some basic rebound strokes uh, with a good posture and uh, holding the sticks correctly and using the energy of the stick to help us. One, two, a three and four. A one and two and a three and four. A one and two and a three and four. A one and two and a three and four. A one and two and a three and four. The first thing uh, we're going to think about is how we're sitting. Uh, I recommend you have your stool uh, high enough so that your bum is just a little bit higher than your knees uh, and you can go up from there if you like but don't go any lower than that because it causes a strain on your, your legs and your knees. Uh, I would have the snare drum about belly button height. Maybe you prefer to have it a little bit lower than that but uh, I've seen lots of drummers with the snare almost as low as their knees. Uh, that can't be a good idea. Uh, Phil Collins used to play like that and it did his back in after many years but um, I think this is the optimal way to sit. Now that we're sitting comfortably uh, I'd like you to think about keeping your back nice and straight. Imagine your spine is like a tent pole that's holding your torso up and uh, with the spine holding you straight, the rest of your upper body can be nice and relaxed. And I'd like you to drop your arms down by the sides and just let them droop there without any effort, any muscles, activity. Your shoulders are completely relaxed, okay? And the next thing we're going to do is lift the forearms up so that your forearms are parallel to the floor, okay? And keep your hands about elbows width apart. So you notice that my, my hands are here, I'm not holding my hands in front of my body or, or out here or anything like that. I've just got my hands elbows width apart and you notice that if my hand is now relaxed that my fingers kind of droop down a little bit and I'm basically now in the position that I want to be in to hold my drumsticks correctly. Next, I'm going to get my sticks and just to remind you, uh, I know you watched the other video, but just in case uh, you forgot already, I'm holding the stick about a third of the way up between my thumb and index finger. I'm going to wrap the other three fingers around the stick so that my middle finger is like the pivot of the seesaw, or a teeter totter if you happen to be American. Okay, the middle finger is slightly more wrapped into the stick. You can see that the back of the stick is able to come away from my hand with my Index, well, my ring finger and my pinky nice and relaxed. Okay, so when I move my hand up and down like this, you can see that the stick wants to bounce. Okay, now remembering the position of my hands, I'm going to grab both of my sticks and I'm going to hold uh, the sticks at a slightly diagonal position. So you can see that the stick is kind of in line with the heel of my palm here on the outside of the palm, slightly diagonal shape so that when I'm holding the sticks pointing at the middle of my snare drum, the parallel arms and the snare at the right height is all ready for me to strike the drum nicely. Again, noticing this little triangular shape. Okay, now, once you're in this position, just take a moment. I know we hate doing this because, you know, we're waiting for some alert to come on Facebook or whatever, but if we can just spend a quiet moment, just look at the sticks like this for a minute. This is a nice starting position. Now what I'm showing you here is called German grip. My hands are holding the stick from above. The fingers are, are cradling the stick, uh, keeping it in my hand. There are other ways of holding drumsticks. There's something called French grip, where we hold the sticks with our hands underneath the stick and the thumbs on top. And there's also traditional grip, where I support one stick with my hand like this, I'm sure you've all seen it, which is a, a, an old fashioned way of playing. A lot of drummers still like playing that way. Uh, you can learn how to do that. But today, I'm just teaching you how to play German grip. My hands are supporting the sticks from above. I can feel how my middle finger is holding the weight of the stick. And uh, the stick's really resting in the first joint of my middle finger on each hand. Okay, the first joint being the joint closest to the end of the finger. Right, now we're ready to play and I'm going to start bouncing my stick. I'm going to start with my right hand uh, because I'm right-handed and it's a little bit easier to get these things started with uh, the dominant hand. And all I need to do is move my hand 
up and down. And I'm using my hand muscles to throw the stick down at the pad, but the stick is bouncing up, back up again. Okay, so I'm not pulling the stick back up, but my hands learned how to follow the movement of the stick. And when you're starting out, this might seem a bit weird. And uh, a lot of people, when they start up, they throw the stick down, they interrupt the motion, and then they pull the stick back up again, okay? And it can be difficult for beginners to really see the difference, or even if you've been doing this all your life, right? But you throw the stick down and pull it back up again, right? So this is me throwing the stick down and pulling it back up. I'm interrupting the movement of the stick. And it's much more hard work than just letting the stick bounce. But to let the stick bounce, you need to get used to allowing your hand to follow the movement of the stick back up. I am being active. I'm moving my uh, hand with the stick. But the downward motion is coming from my hand muscles and the upward motion is coming from the bounciness of the stick. I hope that makes sense. And I think this is like one of the most important things that you could ever learn about holding a drumstick and playing a drum with it. The bounce. And not all drumming requires us to bounce the stick. But I think it's, this is the right place to start. This is what I teach all of my students. And I think getting the hang of this first is a good place to be. After that, you can learn other strokes and other grips. Okay? And just play around with it. See if you can feel it, okay? Once you're done with your dominant hand, you can swap to the non-dominant. Again, see if you can get the stick to bounce. And notice, you might be throwing the stick down and pulling it back up again. Listen to the sound. It's tighter. If I let the stick bounce, my hand's more relaxed and the stick resonates more. You might be able to hear it when you're practicing. Now don't worry if it takes some time to get used to doing this. It takes time. It's not going to happen straight away. You just want to feel yourself getting sort of tuned into the sympathetic relationship between your hand and the bounce of the stick. Okay. So once we start feeling comfortable with this or a little bit more comfortable, we're just going to play eight notes with each hand. Four beats. Okay. And I recommend counting. I'm a big fan. One and two and three and four and one and and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two. Count out loud. And one and two and three and four and one, two and three and four and no need to go any faster than this. Four and one and slow and relax. Three and four and one and two and three and four and and this isn't hard work physically, but you need to concentrate and try and make yourself aware of what's going on. Watch your hands. Three and four and one and listen to the sound you're making. Four and one and aim the sticks for the middle of the pad. One and two and three. Four and one and two, three and four and one and two, three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three, four and one and two and three and four and and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and done. And that's it. That's my introduction to just the very basics of how to play uh, some rebound strokes using German grip. Uh, as I said, I recommend learning how to do this really comfortably before trying to do much more complicated stuff. Uh, when we're starting out, especially, we're very excited to try and do things that are exciting and complicated and uh, sexy, but it's a good idea to at least spend some of your time very gently learning how to hold your sticks properly and how to play a nice relaxed rebound stroke. It'll help you develop your skills going forward in the best possible way. I hope you enjoyed that, found it useful or whatever. Uh, feel free to leave some comments. Uh, and if you want any sort of follow up or help, uh, let me know if you have any recommendations or suggestions for things you'd like me to talk about in future videos. Uh, I intend to make more, so um, let me know right stuff in the comments and, and subscribe to my channel if you want to.